Hi there, Cindy here again. I was thinking the other day about um, how big an advocate I am for using just the cheap old notebook when you start researching your overseas trips or any trips really. Uh, but I do realise that a lot of you prefer things online. And for instance, my partner, Dan, who you can see his little head there because uh, I'm using his board, he would never use a notebook. He would use everything online. So this is a tool that I actually use for business and um, productivity. It's called Trello. It's free. And um, I was thinking it'd be a great tool to use for travel planning, um, especially if you've got more than yourself in the group. So for instance, if um, I've created this board called travel planning, so under Dan's account, naughty. So if he wanted to invite me, he would just click this and then put in my name or email address and it would come up and I would be invited to um, join the board, which would be great. And then both of us can contribute to the board. So the way Trello works is that you create a board and then you can create these small boards here or lists and then under those lists you can create cards. So what I have done is I've created, so for an upcoming trip in November to Italy, I've just created a standard um, list here, so Italy November 2018 and then I'm going to put the destinations that I'm going. So I've added one for Florence and this is how you just click on it, add Verona Add list, and there it is there, and the other one will be Luca. There may be more places, but we'll see how we go. And you can just add or delete. So if you don't want any more, if you wanted to get rid of that, you would just click on that and you would archive this list. Simple. So for this one, if you want to add things to it, you can add cards. And for this one, I'll be um, to do list. I'm going to add that. And then I could put a packing list. And you can see how that works. So what I would do, then you would go back to these and then brings up this. You can change the name of that anytime. You can put a description in for what the card is. And this would be things to do prior to leaving. Save that. And then I could do a, for instance, a checklist and they can have due dates. You can attach files so, and you can put labels, but I'll do the checklist and I'm just going to call it checklist, add, and I would put check passport expiry, add, and then you, when you have check, finished that job, you would just check it off. The other thing you could do is you can assign it to different members. So this could be Daniel's thing to do or mine. There's all these other things here that you can do. You can move them to other boards. And I would just suggest that getting in and playing with it, you can't really break Trello. It's a fantastic tool. It's so good. Um, the other thing here you could put, I could put tours to do and as I research I can go in and I can then um, attach see you can attach it from your Dropbox from OneDrive so you can attach documents um, yeah just just have a play it, you can create it the way you want it the way your mind works the other thing is you can personalize this so I found a um, an image here of um, I think this is Verona or Luca one of them see how you can create other team boards different things show menu here see I can change that picture whenever I want to so you can personalize it for your own trip so anyway I hope that helps enjoy Trello like I said get on it's free play with it use it for business use it for life <laughs> use it for travel it's a great tool and particularly for group planning okay thanks guys talk to you next time